Hey guys, so this is, as promised, follow on video, counting your blessings. Now, there's been a lot of drama on YouTube and there's bringing in a lot of negativity to people's lives and it is hurting people's lives on a very real level. We see them on YouTube and some people get, I don't know how they get, they, they send nonsense and they hate their way and don't think that this person has a life and is going to be hurt by it. So this video is basically saying, A, just stop that. <laughs> just just stop. Stop that and walk away. If, if you can't be supportive or just leave it alone, then just just leave it. Just, just walk away. So this video is called Counting Your Blessings and I will go through some of mine. Mushy mush. Um, for a very good reason to do with this situation. If we put out videos on YouTube, they have an effect on the people that watch them, on ourselves, and in the cases of some people, at the people that they're directed at in a negative sense. So if we put out videos where we we're basically as pagans thanking the goddess for things we are grateful for. The things she has blessed us with in our life that we should be grateful for. Because when we lose sight of the fact that the goddess has given us life, freedom and many many blessings we lose sight of positivity within life, in my opinion. That's not to say life is perfect. Life is not. I don't think life ha is ever perfect. You might have perfect moments, if you're lucky. But life can be tough, sure. I know this perfectly well. I was back at the dentist today with my teeth. But that's not to say that we should allow these little irritations or from anything from the little irritations to the bigger more unpleasant stuff to override us so I'm going to put this video out there to say thank you to my goddess and God for my blessings and recount some of them so hopefully this will make some people smile it makes me smile, so that's it's my video, it's my point of view. So today the gnome, my fiance, found out that as a child I wasn't allowed a games console when all the other kids had them. It's not that we couldn't afford one, we could have. We just weren't allowed it. As a result, I never played some of the um, the famous video games of that era. I, I mean, I, I wasn't beating myself up about this or anything, but it's just how it was. And the gnome, like a little sweetheart, went and dug out his Nintendo N64 and has set it up downstairs so I can play all the classic little video games with him later this evening. So I will get the chance to play those games that I missed out on. I'm going to cry because he's so sweet. I gave him a great big hug when I saw what he was doing. So he's my blessing for, for, for life. For life. But today it really cheered me up. It really did. We play video games together. It's something we do together part of how we bond. That's not how every couple bonds, but it works for us. There are other, I mean, you know, it's just one small aspect of our lives together. But, and I thought that was lovely because he felt that I'd missed out on something in childhood when I told him. And he set it up so I wouldn't have missed out anymore. I would have got had a chance to go back and be childlike and play. And that's that brings me into something else. 
sometimes we forget to be childlike and frank in life. We get so caught up on the drama or our everyday lives, work, home, children, kids, chores, housework, whatever. And we forget. We forget to play and embrace a little bit of joy. We, we forget to do it and it's important. So I'm thankful for my gnome every day. He's, he, he's my soulmate and I'm very, very lucky to have found him. I am thankful for our home and that we have an, enough money to get by, to, to eat well. I had some I had some good news today. I don't really discuss this on webcam. I may have mentioned it once. Um, I'm currently overweight as a result of um, a lot of past uh, trauma and drama, um, serious drama in my past that led me to comfort eat amongst other things and I ended up quite a bit overweight. I got back on track with my weight loss this morning and this week lost three pounds in spite of coming on my period. Sorry to any men, this is obviously out of their comfort zone. They've probably turned off by now. Um, so without that, it might have been five pounds, but uh, so I'm back at my lowest ever weight since I started healthy eating and exercising. Hopefully next week, especially since I won't be on anymore, I'll be even lower. And to this point since I started, let's see, I have lost one stone and three pounds now. So that's something else. I'm thanking the goddess for helping me to help myself. Thank you for helping me, goddess. That's, that was a blessing today as well. Um, that's subjective and personal, but do you know? And my candles came today. Thank you, postman. <laughs> he, he came while I was out, so he knew when I was stalking him and when I was not, and he put them <laughs> in my letterbox when I wasn't there. <laughs> so... I think that might be it for today. Hmm. So I encourage people on YouTube, and you don't have to post any videos, you could just think about it in your own life, to go through your life and think, <clears throat> what am I thankful for today? What is joyous today? What brings me a little bit of light today? This isn't to say that we shouldn't stick up for people and we shouldn't stick by people in their time of need. We should. I will continue to do so. I opened circle yesterday to say, and it's very rare for me to open circles for someone who isn't in my immediate. Uh, family whether they are blood family not many of them left oh water, water family aka adopted family it's a couple of them um and it's unusual for me to do it but judging on the on the um circumstances yesterday i felt compelled because i watched this video yesterday and it horrified me this other woman's video and it horrified me I shouldn't have done it. I hadn't been watching any of the other ones and I don't know why I did it. I shouldn't have done it. I knew it was going to be bad and I shouldn't have done it. Never mind. I watched it. It horrified me. And I went and had to cleanse myself because that's how much it made me feel sick. And I went and opened a circle and sent the person who was the victim of this bullying love and, and support and strength. It's unusual for me to do it. 
from people, as I said, outside. But I felt compelled and I needed to do it. I wasn't going to send any hate out. I wasn't going to send any negativity at the person who, whose video made me feel that uncomfortable. I wasn't going to do that. I don't believe in, in that. But I sent strength to the person who needed it. Was under attack. Just to share my support. And it's unusual for me to do it. It is. But I think it needed to be done. So keep sending people your support. Only do it in, in love. If you can't be in the situation, and it, it, it gets to me, and it will get to other people, and some of it's horrid. And that's understandable. We're human beings. So just send out your support. And remember the things that you are thankful for and thank the goddess for them. Because if you lose sight of, of the little things, of the, the joyous things, then life is going to be so much more difficult. This is a, a more theory based video, as you can tell. But tomorrow I will start the SBAT videos properly. I will get into the series which I wanted to do. A little bit of drama here and there has um, put hiccups in my plans, but I think I have all the items and tools and bits and pieces that I want now to start at. So I will. And that's it for today. So have a very blessed day, however much of it is left, depending on where you are. And Merry Me and Blessed Be.